Hey everybody, I wanted to make a video going into a deeper detail as to how labs work. Now our first lab, because we, we're not doing a lab week one to give you a day to get acclimated to the course. Um, the first lab will be due next Thursday and I'm going to try to send this video out again when we get closer to the first lab being due. But I want to make sure you understand how um, submitting your work is going to work. So, um, you are required to include your work on the labs. Each lab is formatted the exact same way. Each lab is four questions long. You are required to show work. You are required to attach work. So the easiest way to do this is to take a sheet of paper, work out the question, and then take your cell phone. If you don't have a cell phone, sometimes you can use a webcam, but the cell phone picture quality is going to be better. And to take a picture of your work for that question. So then you would click on the Add Work button. You would choose a file. And I made some mock examples somewhere. Here we go. 2 plus 2 equals 5. Probably not very good work. Let's say that the answer here is 7. Um, and then, I don't know, let's go to question 3 here. I made some mock, ex mock work. Then I'm just entering some answers here. And I'm going to hit Submit. And it will even tell you after submitting you will not be able to change. Are you sure you want to submit? Yes. Okay, now I got a zero on that. But uh, the best I could have made on that lab was a 50, a 50 out of 100, because there were two questions I did not include work, all right? So make sure, because I'm an instructor, I'm able to just reset it make sure you attach work. So like question two a second ago, it let me submit the question even though I did not attach work. I would not have gotten any credit for that question because I did not attach work. All right, so make sure you attach work or you will not receive any credit for a question on the lab. It's really important you include your work. Now, the, the disadvantage to including work is that if you do not include it, you do not get credit. The advantage is if you get the question wrong, when I review uh, and I, the, after the lab is due, typically the next morning, typically on Friday morning, I sit down and I review everybody's lab work. If you didn't include work, I take away the points that you got. But if you included your work, your work looks good, but you entered the answer in wrong, I will go back and give partial credit, um, somewhere between 0 and 25 points. Each question is worth 25 points based off of your work. So showing your work can actually help you improve your grade. If you made a small mistake, you could still get a really good grade on that question. Um, the other thing I will do is I am happy to check your work, all right? If you go over into Outlook, and if you use, you know, log into your student email. I'm trying to pull up an example right now, but it's not letting me. Um, if you will shoot me an email of your lab assignment, I am happy to check your lab assignment for you. I can check your work for you. If, if I tell you to make corrections and I send it back to you, then you send it back to me. I am happy to go back and forth with you multiple times. I am happy to check your work. Me checking your work is a great plan for getting a really good lab grade. All right. You're also welcome to sit down with a tutor and work through step by step. You know, if I'm emailing back and forth with you and you're going, I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. I am not up to speed with this. And you want to sit down and get that long forum, an hour, you know, one-on-one -on -one help with just this assignment, tutoring is a great option. So um, make sure you attach work. If you don't attach work, you're not going to receive credit. Also, attaching work lets you get partial credit, so that's a good thing. 
Um, please work ahead. I know it's hard. I know we got a lot going. This is a this is a lot of class to cover in just eight weeks. So please work ahead. Send me your rough drafts. All right, write up those drafts. Send them to me. Let me check your work before you submit this. That way you know you're going to get a good grade. All right, uh, I'm here to help. I'm here to be a support.